So I'm here with Gary Knott, and he's going to teach us a little bit about uh, MLAB input and output. So Gary, take it away. Thank you, Aaron. Uh, <clears throat> all programs, uh, at least most programs, as you know, has uh, input that it processes and output that it produces. And MLAB is no exception. Generally speaking, in MLAB, uh, we want to read in tables of numbers, which are stored in files. <clears throat> Uh, matrices to be precise, uh, uh, that we will use as data points to fit models to or to uh, manipulate statistically or uh, for whatever purpose we may have in mind. Uh, we also can deal with character strings, we just call them strings, such as, for example, a file name can be input as a text string and used in an MLAB script to determine the name of the file that will be read. The character, character string itself is an input. So we're going to uh, do a few interesting examples in MLAB about its input output by running MLAB. Click, click. There it is. We'll just go to top level at the moment. Uh, continue, and we'll just make up some data that we're going to use uh, for uh, the purpose of reading. So we'll make up some random number data, in this case uniform random number data, although MLAB can really <coughs> generate uh, dozens of different kinds of distribution, random numbers from dozens of different kinds of distributions. So to do this, at the moment, we run the program RAN, which is the Uniform Random Number Generator function, on <clears throat> apply RAN to each of the following arguments, zero repeated 100 times. That's 100 different random numbers. And we hit return. And we have 100 different random numbers in M. Let's take a look at the first little part of M. M, well, we'll do, we don't have to do that. We'll say type. M row 1 through 6. There's the first six random numbers. And they're all between 0 and 1. There's a very tiny one there in, in row 4, uh, 10 to the minus 3. And there's a larger one in row uh, uh, 6, 0 0.88. <clears throat> but at any rate, that's our random numbers. And if we say N rows of M, we get the number of rows, the number of random numbers are stored in, that are stored in M is 100. Now what we're going to do is make a data file of these numbers. So we'll say print M in, uh, we'll just pick a name for this, R file dot that for data. So what is the print command doing? Well, the print command is actually going to write this matrix M as ASCII numbers in a file on the disk in our home directory. So it's making a new file. It's going to make a new file on the disk. So I hit return, and the file is on the disk, presumably. And what exact location is it? Well, if you look up here, when we ran MLAB, MLAB told us our current working directory is C colon backslash MLAB. So the file went into that directory. It went into C colon backslash MLAB. And now what we're going to do is verify that. We'll just take a look at that. Uh, uh, we'll say edit file. Uh, uh, quote. I don't think we even need the quotes. We'll try it. Our file, not our Lyle. Our file dot that. And there is our data file. <clears throat> now, uh, this is just a sequence of numbers. What is the first number? That's a question for you, Aaron. Number one? Well, point, point uh, it, it could be 0.59, but it isn't. The first number is 100. The second number is 1. The third number is 1. The next number is 0.59. The next number is 2. The number after that is 0.55 something and so on. MLAB doesn't know when it reads this file anything about it except it's a sequence of numbers. It can't tell that this was a title. 
If we didn't want this in our data file, we should put uh, quotes around this line, which would make it a comment in our data file, which would then the numbers would not be read. Mm -hmm. But we won't do that. We'll just leave it as it is and understand that this is a very complicated little data file. It is not what we thought it was mm -hmm. at all. There is a way to write this on the disk without these numbers at the front. And to do that is a story perhaps for another time about the matrix format string that tells us whether we want the uh, line numbers prefixed on any matrix we write out. So is this format a problem when you want to run? Well, it would, it would be a problem if we didn't know this was here. Okay. Uh, since we know it's here, we can actually do something about it in many different ways. As I said, one way is to change the format and write it the way we want. Another way is just to uh, extract out the numbers we don't want in MLAB itself later on. Uh, but we are finished with that, so we will just turn off this notepad editor.